Sabrina Sabalenka versus Coco Goff is the first semi-final for the Ladies Australian Open for 2024. Both ladies have been very impressive to get to this stage. Goff entered the tournament as a number four seed. We'll play Schmidlover in the first round. There's no problem getting through in straights. 6-3, six, 6-love. Six, in the second round, she'd take on Dollarhide. And after a close first set, she would fight back to win. 7-6, six, 6-2. Six, in the third round, she'd take on Parks, who had just taken out Layla Fernandez in the previous round. Again, easy win, straight sets for Goff. 6-love, six, 6-2. Six, in the fourth round, she'd take on Frere, who had taken out Caroline Garcia in the second round. And again, an easy win for Goff. 6-1-6-2 to get to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Goff would take on the unseated Kostyuk, who had been very impressive to get to the quarterfinals. And after two very close sets, Goff would run away with the third, 7-6-6-7-6-2, to advance to the semis. Sabalenka entered the tournament as the number two seed and would take on Seidel in the first round. There's no problem getting through in straights. 6-love, six, 6-1. Six, in the second round, she'd take on Brenda Fruvitova, another young phenom coming through the ranks. There's no problem for Sabalenka again winning in straights. 6-3, six, 6-2. Six, in the third round, she'd take on the 28th seed, Sharenko, who she'd played a few times before. And Sabalenka destroyed her, winning 6-love, six, 6-love, six, handing out the double bagel. In the fourth round, she'd take on Anissimova, who had taken out Bedosa and Samson over to get here. But again, Sabalenka looked too good, getting through in straight, 6-3, six, 6-2, six, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Sabalenka would take on Krajikova, the ninth seed. And having won their previous three matches, it was the same again for Sabalenka, getting an easy win, 6-2, 6-3, to advance to the semifinals. These two have played six times before, with Goff leading the head-to-head 4-2, including their last meeting in the final of the US Open, which was a three-set epic, where Goff eventually got the win and her first title. If Goff's going to win this one, she needs to be on her defensive best. And she also needs to play much, much, much better than she did against Kostruk. Against Kostruk, too many errors, especially on the forehand side. And the serve wasn't working as well, so she can get more first serves in as well if she's going to be a chance against Sabalenka. If Sabalenka's going to win this one, she just needs to keep doing what she's doing. She's been flawless this week against all the players. You know, she has played a couple of qualities, but she also has played Krajikova, who is a Grand Slam champion. So needs to keep doing that serve well as well and use that forehand to damage. What a great matchup. We get the rematch of the final of the US Open and in such a random draw this year, it's good to see some familiar names, but I got to have a Sabalenka in this one. I feel like she might just get it done against Goff and get that revenge that she got from that US Open or that she feels from that US Open. I reckon it might be three sets. Let me know down in the comments below who's going to win this one.